My name's Mindy, and this is Liz, and we're from DNA My Dog, and we're going to show you how to take a swab of your dog for those of you who have trouble. The first thing we want to show you is to make sure that your dog doesn't have any oral contact with another dog before you take your sample, because that dog's cells might show up on this dog's sample, and this dog will report back with the wrong breeds. So if you can keep your dog separated for an hour and make sure that they don't share any toys, that's going to be your best bet. So I'm going to take the dog we're sampling over here, Harry. In your package, you're going to have one set of swabs and one sample envelope. And if you've ordered more than one kit, you'll have one for each dog. It helps if you have someone to help you, but you can also do it on your own. And depending on your dog, it can either be really, really easy or sometimes a little bit difficult. Let's see how Harry is. Come on, Harry. Sit down. Sit. Can you sit? Good boy. You can take the swab. You can put it inside the dog's cheek here. And you're just going to rub it for 20 seconds. Sometimes they don't like it, which is good. If the dog doesn't like it, we find one of the best things to do to just get them down. And it doesn't hurt them. It's Sometimes you can even cover their eyes and it immediately relaxes them. You're gonna rub their inside of their cheek for 20 seconds. You're gonna take the first sample and you're gonna let it air dry in the provided envelope. And then you're gonna take the second sample and you're gonna, come here, sweetheart. <laughs> you're gonna do the other side of your dog's mouth. Now he knows what it is, he's okay. And you're gonna rub it in between the gum and the cheek for another 20 seconds. You can twirl it a little and just rub it and you're getting cheek cells. And then when it's done, you can give them a treat, but not before, they're not supposed to eat anything for at least an hour before. If you'll notice, sometimes the swabs are slightly discolored and sometimes they're even brown, that's totally normal. You're gonna leave both swabs in the envelope to air dry and then you're gonna come back about 25 minutes later, seal it, make sure your information's on it, and mail it back to us.